Uh, keep it going here for Corey. He's doing an amazing job holding it down here. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very much. And just a technical thing, I, it's just a pet peeve. And I know people call me the great Baldini all the time, but as I always say, I'm the slightly above average Baldini. Because <laughs> greatness is a, life no, a lifelong quest, right? Um, it's also good to be humble in life, but thank you, Corey. Um, how many people here believe in magic? Uh, oh, more hands than usual. Good to see. Well, by the time I end my first effect, or really my second effect, you'll all put your hands up when I ask that question. But... First, I want to show you a little something. This is how I used to warm up here at the Science Center, and I have done over 50 shows here, 20 shows last Christmas, 20 shows the Christmas before that, and 10 others somewhere else along the way. And I would always do this. I would ask everybody to stand up. You probably need to stand up by now anyway, right? And we're all going to shake our arms out. It's a lot more fun when you make noises like this. Now watch. Everyone go like this with the noise. And down. Out in the front. Uh, uh, uh. Put your hands like this. Turn your hands inward, thumbs down. Cross over and lock your fingers, but keep your thumbs down. Let me see. Everyone's got it. Now, on three, no bending your arms. Do this. One, two, three. Now go like this. <laughs> All right, you can sit down, sit down, sit, sit. I know someone here is yelling out, I know this, I know this, I know this. I want to be clear about this. When watching a magic performance, there are no points for figuring it out. If you know it, you've been taught before, okay? Let me explain the science behind that, and you can do this on everybody, and everyone in this audience is going to be able to say, I know this, in about 30 seconds. It goes like this. I went like this. I went like this. I went like this. I cannot unfold my arms at that point. What I did, and I did it staring you right in the face, was misdirect you. How did I do it? Under the cover of me checking if people were okay. Ah, I didn't come back here. I came back here. Well, whether you realize it, when I pointed to check, you looked at your own hands or you looked where I pointed, this is called misdirection. This is science, okay? It is. And then I came back here. You can all try. You don't have to stand up. Just put your arms out, unlock and point, and come back in underneath. It feels really weird, but then you'll be able to go like this. Give yourselves a round of applause. You're all magicians! Now, back to the question, the question being, who believes in magic? And most of the hands went up. I would start all my theater shows here in the Science Center uh, with this effect, because it clearly defines the difference between magic and illusion. See, a lot of people think that the magic is, you know, making the ball disappear. No, that's the illusion. The magician accomplished that through some kind of trick, like this, to create magic. Magic is what you feel. And the doctor was just saying before about storytelling. What magicians do is they wrap their effects in allegory and, theory, uh, and storytelling to try and diffuse this natural, I need to know, I need to know how it's done. Okay? Now, before I do this effect that shows what magic is and what illusion is, I'm going to do an effect that everybody asks me to do all the time, which is Baldini. If you're so magical, can you make me money? <laughs> it's a fair question, right? Now, if I could really do that, I'd probably be on a beach in Thailand somewhere, because I really like that country. Um, so we'll, we'll make something happen here, or at least appear to happen here. To do so, uh, it takes money to make money. Is there anyone there? Do you guys have 20 bucks on you? No? No? It's great when I do the kid show, because I go up to the six-year-olds and go, hey, you got 20 bucks? <laughs> no one's got 20? You got 20 bucks? Yes? You reach it for your pocket. You do. Here we go. Jer yeah, 20, because, you know, bigger the better. Yeah? Do you have one? Yeah, we're on a 10-minute time. <laughs> Five, 20. <laughs> Boom. What's your name? Guzzle. Guzzle. Round of applause for Guzzle. Who's foolish enough to give a magician $20? Watch how this works. <laughs> Gone. You can clap. I use my bars for good, not evil. Now, here we go. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. And this is why they, by the way, call me Baldini, because I'm bald. Uh, and Houdini, Harry Houdini, one of the greatest magicians of all times. Watch. 
nothing here, nothing here. Stays in full view. You can watch on the, on the camera there and you'll see it nice and close. This is how you do close up magic in a theater and across the world, by the way. $50, boom. $50, did you not hear me? <laughs> here you go. <laughs> here. No, magic has its limitations, people. Oh, sorry, sorry. Again, if I could really do that, I'd be making myself 50s and going off to Thailand. Now, um, you're probably wondering where your $5 bill went. <laughs> oh, it was 20? Oh, sorry. Just want to make sure you're paying it. It went to my bank. <laughs> no, it's right here in the pocket. Now, you know, that's pretty cool, too, but don't worry about that. Let's get back to what magic and illusion are, okay? Magic, what you feel when you experience illusion. Illusion, you're looking at it, you hear it, you think it's happening, it's not. As a matter of fact, Harry Houdini had a quote. What the eyes see and what the ears hear, the mind believes. It's called an illusion. Let's test that theory with your 20. Does it look like I'm ripping your 20? I'm not. <laughs> it's an illusion. <laughs> Pretty good one. Does it, I'll do it in the mic, sound. Yeah, sounds like it, huh? Uh-uh. Your ears are sending false messages to your brain. Telling you, I heard that bill ripped. And my eyes say I see one, two, three, and four pieces, right? Illusions. Watch. I fold it down, get it nice and tight on my hands to be able to see this. And I unfold it, and you will see that when I open the bill, it was never ripped. It was never torn. Those were illusions. And what you feel right now is a little thing that I like to call magic. Now, who believes in magic now? <laughs> Big round of applause for our young lady. Thank you so much. <laughs> Buy a lottery ticket. You never know. We're running tight on time, so what I got a trick to do, with, an effect to do for you at the end with five people, but we all were handed elastic bands, right? Excellent. I'm going to do the effect first, then I'm going to teach it to you, okay? So you don't have to do anything yet. Watch carefully. We in tight. <laughs> I did go so well. <laughs> no, it's right here. It's on my arm. See? Now, here's the science. And I'm just going real quick because I know we're running out of time. So my palm goes up. You can all try it. Right hand if you're right-handed. Left hand if you're left-handed. Palm goes up. You pinch. You pull up and pinch back here. And I just press the two bands together. Not completely necessary. You put it your nose. They say in magic, a big action covers a little action. This is my face. This is a little action. And here's the cool part. Watch carefully. No face, nothing. Little face, nothing. But if I make a big face, and even though you all know this is going down, for fact, your brain will say, uh-uh, that went up. Watch. <laughs> you, you can applaud. Sure, why not? It's snoring a lot. <laughs> you try that in front of a mirror, you'll know you're doing it correctly. When you have to look down on your wrist and say, oh, thank God, it didn't go up my nose. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do this last one by uh, request for uh, my good friend Sabine here. Can we get a round of applause? She's the reason I'm here. <laughs> really, really quickly. And <clears throat> will you come up and help me really quickly? What's your name? Jessica, a round of applause for Jessica. We've got a minute here. This is the big fire trick, the big fire trick. You know what that is? It's memory, thought and memory and imaging, capturing paper or something like that. Say stop. stop. Take that card right there, have a look, show it to the camera and the whole world, because we're on the web, right? Done? And I will take the paper from you, not the card. There, hold it up, right beside the card, don't let me see it, look at the card. Take a picture with your mind, look there, look here. Paint that picture, done? Okay, you got a fast brush. Here we go. Lighter. Don't play with fire, by the way. I'll just give you that little warning. As a matter of fact, I tell the story about uh, when I was eight years old. <clears throat> I tried to play with my G.I. Joe in the garage and ate a fire truck and light it on fire. Woo! -hoo! A real fire truck came. I got, <laughs> it's true. And I got grounded for like a month. And so I always give that a warning to the science center. Trust me, never mind like disfiguring yourself forever. You don't want to be sent to your room every day after school for a month. All right, here we go. Don't try this at home, folks. You think I'm crazy? <laughs> I think we know the answer to that question. <laughs> I'm okay. Hold on to that. 
You got 20 seconds. Watch carefully. I open this. Come on over a little bit closer to me. Look. Turn the card face up to the camera. Yes, thank you. Take a bow. Take a bow. My name is Baldini. It's been an absolute pleasure, guys. I'll leave you with this quote. You know what magic is? The ability to believe in yourself. Because if you can do that, you can make anything happen. Here's Corey. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. Here, you keep this. Thanks, doggy.